This is a Rotke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rotke of Rotke Mods, and welcome to the re-upload of episode 15 of my Mac Pro series. I am doing this re-upload to clarify and fix a number of holes and mistakes that was in the original video. I'm also going to be tweaking and removing a few things from the original video and showing you other things that should work better than it did when I originally made the video. Anyway, so let's continue by showing you the original video and the original introduction I did about a month and a half ago. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and before I continue, I would like to address that this will work on any PC with a weird hardware setup. For instance, if you're dual booting Windows and have older hardware in your computer that's not compatible with newer hardware in your computer, this will also work for you too. This does not just work for graphics cards, but any device in your computer. Anyway, welcome to episode 15 of my Mac Pro series. In this episode, I will be showing you what to do if you have a Mac Pro setup like I do. In my Mac Pro setup, I have currently a GT120 and a GTX 950 NVIDIA graphics card. The GT120 is for boot screens, emergency OS X boots, boot menu, and etc. etc. I don't use it really for anything else, and it is just for my secondary monitor, which is right here. I bought it off of eBay for about $20 with shipping. That's all I use it for, is just to have it for boot screens and stuff. The problem is with Windows 10, Windows 10 automatically installs drivers, which is a problem because NVIDIA stopped making graphics drivers for the GT120 in major revisions in 2014, and in March of 2016 stopped making drivers for it, period. And this is just for Windows. But NVIDIA is still making drivers for any card that was made after the 300 series, so the 400 and on. The GT120 was based off the Tesla architecture, which was from the NVIDIA 8000 series all the way through the 300 series. The 400 series, which is based on the Fermi architecture and on, is still supported and still modern GPUs. So, because of all these problems, Windows will automatically install drivers for both cards. That's an issue because having two NVIDIA graphics drivers running at the same time is impossible. The computer cannot control it. Once both drivers are installed, if they both activate at the same time, the computer will blue screen and crash. This will also become a problem because then the computer will not boot up. And you'll have to do, like in episode 13, reboot multiple times until you can get it into safe mode and in this case you'd have to go into device manager and uninstall one of the two drivers for the device to boot back into Windows to fix this. But since I'm already running a fresh install of a Windows that hasn't connected to the internet yet, I won't have a problem with the drivers installing. And this will be a lot easier for me and if you are also setting up your Mac Pro for you too. Today I will be teaching you how to use the local group policy editor, which is only in Windows Professional or higher. It is not in the basic, for instance, Windows Home Premium and Windows 7 or just regular Windows 10. It's not in these. You have to have Professional or newer. And if you're installing this on a Mac Pro, you should have Professional or better anyway. So, Local Group Policy Editor has a feature which will tell the computer to not even look at the device. It will basically make the device disappear in the eyes of the computer. And because of this, you will not see it in the Device Manager after you uninstall it. And you will never have another problem with it. It will be like the card or the device in general that's in your computer that's not compatible has never been there to begin with which is a great thing when you're having this issue. After all this is done, I will be able to install my GTX 950 drivers without having to worry about conflicts. So let's begin. So like stated before, this will work on any hardware device, not just video cards, but in this case, we are going to be focusing on a video card. 
We'll first want to go to the Start button. And since we're in Windows 10, we right-click, and then we go to Device Manager. Now we will want to find our video card, which in this case is the one that's actually working and not this one. This is the GT120. And if you ever have problems with this, uh, there's many ways to figure this out. And it would all be on device hardware, which we have to find anyway. We go to properties, then we go to details, and then to hardware IDs. And if you're not sure if this is the right device, you can copy and paste this into the internet and look it up and it will tell you what the device is. After we have copied this ID, we will now need to go and open the gpedit.msc program, which needs to be opened by opening run which you can do a shortcut which is the Windows key plus R and we type in gpedit msc and hit enter now this brings up the group policy editor we need to go to computer configuration and then to administrative templates and then we need to find system then device installation device installation restrictions then we need to double click on prevent installation of devices that match any of these device IDs which is right here we open that up and now we hit enable and then we need to click the show button and we paste the device ID we previously found into this file right here by hitting control V we click OK and then we hit apply now it's like this device has never existed we can now exit out of here and we can go back up to hi we're back from the re-upload now there was other things that I was running into when doing this the original what I tell you in the video ends up with a few problems for instance deleting the device um, ends up having the computer see the device with no drivers and it will continue to try to install those drivers even though it will always fail and you'll always get these update errors from a Windows Update saying that updates could not be installed well I think I've figured out how to fix that and that's by instead of deleting the device um, if it's a video card you may need to delete the device otherwise but if it's a video card you should leave the basic Microsoft display adapter drivers on it and the computer won't try to replace the drivers but in major Windows updates like the new anniversary edition that came out earlier this month you may have to go back to the GP edit program and go back to your prevent installation of devices that match any of these device IDs with the new Windows update Windows tried to override my setup and tried to get both cards to start up at the same time which of course didn't work uh, and I screwed up all the graphic settings well if you go back into here if you disconnect from the internet you, you should do that first you can go to um, back into here click show right click well double click highlight all this hit copy hit OK and then click disabled and then hit apply and then go over here and it will probably go back to your old um, graphics card uh, name click right click update driver software browse computer uh, pick from a list 
and then click the Microsoft Basic Display Adapter and hit Next. And it will switch it back over the Basic Display Adapter drivers. Then you need to go back over here, click Enabled, hit Show, um, paste back into here, click OK, and then hit Apply. And that will fix you for um, the coming future until the next major update of Windows comes out. And then you may have to do that again, but it's better to have it this way because then you won't get that Windows update nagging and everything will still work and your video card will always stay in basic Microsoft Display Adapter. Anyway, let's get back to the original video device manager and uninstall the device. Click OK. And it is gone. And it is not coming back. Now, if you're like me and you have two NVIDIA graphics cards and they're both plugged in, the main card will be your newer card with the drivers installed. And the secondary card will show up on the secondary screen in Windows in basic Microsoft display adapter setup which means it won't have the right resolution but it will never have the drivers installed and since you won't be using that card like I don't you really won't have to worry about it and you can even turn that monitor off if you restart your Mac Pro and realize that your GT120 is still the only device showing a display that is because you need to install your drivers for your other card before it will switch over to the other device and then that will become your main display. I am now doing a driver install. The driver has installed and now I only need to restart. Every time the system boots up it will start on the GT120 screen and then the newer card will kick on midway through the boot and then the newer card will default to the main screen and once it signs in you'll get the other desktop but of course that card won't have a driver on it you can turn that screen off or whatever and that's how the group policy editor can help you Here's one last bit of proof to show you that the GT120 is not even being shown by the Windows install. It just shows the GTX 950. If it was showing up on here, it would also say under it or above it, NVIDIA GeForce 9500 GT, which is the same video card, only Apple used the GT120 as the OEM name. Anyway, so that's just a little bit of proof. I almost forgot to mention, you may still end up with a video controller VGA compatible in other devices. Don't worry about it, it is your other video card, but it will not install the drivers. Even if you forget it is the other video card and hit update drivers, it will fail at updating the drivers. So don't worry, it will never reinstall those drivers and you won't have any crashes. Anyway, that is the end of the video. And in the next episode, episode 16, we will be doing various things in Windows, showing you how well the Mac Pro runs in Windows and what it can do. And we will take it as it goes for everything else in the future videos, just demonstrating everything about the Mac Pro. Anyway, thank you for watching, and this has been a Rutke Mods video.